<laughs> it's the Smash It musical based on the songs of Swedish supergroup ABBA and loved by over 60 million fans around the world. And right now, we're lucky enough to have with us New Zealand's own version of Donna and the Dynamos, Mamma Mia's Jackie Clark, Emily Owen, and Charlotte Nightingale. Yeah. Thank you for that lovely warm welcome. Oh, it's so nice having you here. Yeah. Always. This is gonna be this is gonna be fun as always. Hey, um, Jackie, is it true first of all that you were in an ABBA tribute band? <laughs> yes. Oh yes. <yeah. laughs> and so, I had so much fun. So who did you play? Well, I had to play the underdog. I had to be Frida because oh. the brunette never gets enough attention. No. So I looked like Frida, <laughs> but sang all of Agnetha's solos. But I actually looked a bit more like Brian May from Queen because my wig was a little bit wrong, <laughs> but in the right way. Okay, Emma, for those that don't know about, you know, the storyline to Mamma Mia, can you give us a quick synopsis? Quick. Oh, my yeah. goodness. It's <sighs> quite <sighs> involved. It's about a girl getting married, and uh, she's got a mum, but she doesn't know who her dad is, and so she, <laughs> behind the scenes, invites her dad, dads, all three of the possible dads along, to see which one is her dad, yeah, really. Her, her mum was quite busy back in the mm. days. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. Three possible dads. I mean, I didn't want to uh, say, but it's, it's she's a problem here, right. and it's not us. <laughs> 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 oh, no. So it was a bit of a game of who's your daddy, right? Yeah. That's, who's that's, your daddy? Yeah, sit, sit on a Greek sit on a Greek, Greek island with Abba song, so it's mm. you know everything you want. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And Charlotte, were you part of an all girl group once? I called? was. I was. was. Rogues. <laughs> Rouge. A Rouge. Rouge. Sorry, uh, Rouge. Rogue is probably yeah, be about probably right, isn't it? Yeah, we were rogues. Um, no, yeah, we were three part girl band, kind of very similar. Yeah. yeah about and fifteen years ago, you went to Ibiza for a reunion. Oh, yeah, we're so going, similar again. Yeah, totally. We're going to Ibiza this year for a reunion. Yeah, living it up, you know. <laughs> I, I have seen this musical quite a few times. I absolutely love it, especially when the, um, what are they calling those flippers come oh, out? Yes. Oh, yes, oh, yes, yes. yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you have that more show? Yes, yeah. it's, it's an iconic part of the show. It'll be there. I bet you the rehearsal for that is quite hilarious as people try and learn how to dance and flippers. Yeah, well, watching those young athletic men lift their legs up really high in those flippers, <laughs> it's hard work for us. Yeah, yeah, it's <laughs> Maybe really that's hard. why I've remembered that scene. <laughs> 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 okay, Jack. <laughs> You oh, play Donna Sheridan, yeah. so is there any similarities? Do you know who the father of your children is? <laughs> <laughs> yes, but she's also the, the co-owner of my mortgage, so we're very close. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's kind of that riff, it's riffing on that 70s woman versus the, the 90s woman as it was. Uh, the difference between Donna and her daughter, like her daughters turn out to be quite conservative, mm -hmm. wanting the big white wedding, mm. whereas Donna and her dynamos, we were out there like, whoa! Oh, wow, chicks in the 70s exploring our freedom mm. with whoever came along. Apparently. Totally. Girl power, I girl say. Power. Girl, oh, power. girl power. And talking about that, girl power, come on, tell us about the costumes. <laughs> have you got Have you got the flares? <laughs> what have you got? Come on. Oh, they are the sausage suits, as I refer to them. <laughs> yeah. That we, tight. Oh. Yeah, well, we're, yeah. we're lucky because yeah, there we are in all yeah. our glory. Yeah. That's oh, the finale so costume. <laughs> so it's like, not only are they skin tight lycra, but they're white. Yeah. yeah. All women want to wear skin tight uh, white, don't on, they? On their thighs. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. It's lovely. Yeah. 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 Apart from the costume, Emma, what do you love about your character? Well, she's just so honest and down to earth, and she's like an earth mother, loves everyone. But at the end of the day, don't you worry, she gets her man. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is quite timely, this musical. I mean, you know, what, you know, all the talk about women power nowadays and this movie and the musical really displays that because you're all individuals, you're all on your own journey and, well, kind of control of your lives. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what about you, Charlotte? What do you like about your character? Um, I like it that I have the... <laughs> I have, I actually have to sort of um, fling myself around lots of young men and, you know, oh. that's kind of the best part of my, my role, really, mm. is I get fling, flung around a lot and, uh, yeah, touch up a lot of... <laughs> oh, that sounds dodgy, doesn't it? <laughs> Dig myself out of that we can hole. Cut that out. <laughs> we, we can't. Sorry. Um, so it sounds like you're having a terrible time. It's not fun it's at all. It's oh, terrible. It's really but boring. Honestly, I've, I've done Mamma Mia before, and this show is the most fun you will ever have on stage yeah. in the theatre. I've never been part of something where the audience just goes so crazy. There's so much love in the room, and our job is just to sort of honour the songs and yeah. the and the and the fact that it's 
three middle-aged women, of course we're playing way, 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 uh, way over our age, yeah. Yeah. but three middle-aged women being raucous and mm. having fun, and it just gives permi permission to women out yeah. there to say, hey, you know, that female friendships, is that's one of the most powerful, yeah. powerful motivators in life. Yeah, it's one of the best things definitely. you can have. And you know, the weird thing for me, the first time I went along to Mamma Mia is I didn't realise the ABBA songs, you know, they're part of our soundtrack to life, really, and when you put them in a show all together, you realise just how much of an influence they've had on the world. Mm. And, and how you know them, you know every word, yeah. every lyric, it's, it, people know it and you identify with yeah. it immediately. It's, mm. yeah. Do you so have a favourite song in the show? <laughs> I love so many songs, it's a, but I like Take a Chance, just quietly. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, of true. course you do. That's <laughs> <laughs> watch MC oh, Wine. Mm. <laughs> what about you, Jackie? What's your favourite? You've sung this before. Um, yeah, but I'm, I'm doing a diff playing a different yeah. role now, and I, and I have sung every ever yeah. song. Notion. In fact, my first song I ever sung in front of people when I was 11 years old was "When I Kissed the Teacher," <gasps> to my class in uh, in you know first year of intermediate school. Wow. But I, I think. The, the, my favourite one to sing is probably When It Takes It All because yeah. it's such yeah. a challenge and it's just such a dramatic song and it's it's beautiful. Yeah. It's, it's just it's an honour to sing that song. Mm. And right. you do it beautifully. And I need to find out the men that yes, are in the show. Let's talk about the men that are in the show. Um, who all, have you got? What do you love mine. about them? <laughs> <all mine>. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, there's the, well, there's the three husbands. Um, the, well, the three, not husbands, but three love interests from back in the day. There's Sam, the architect, who went back home to get married. <laughs> 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 There's Bill, the Aussie travel writer, who's a real, um, he has a slight eye on Rosie over here. And then there's Harry, the, the, um, the English accountant who's very, very straight-laced but has come to the island to rediscover his wild side because that's what he and Donna had together. And of course we have one token young, young man, my daughter's love interest, Skye, who's mm. just a hunk of burning love, mm. and a young actor called um, John O'Harris who's amazing. Yeah. Mm. And are the men having as much fun as what you... I hope not. Are? <laughs> I hope, I hope not. Are their shoes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And you've all done a lot of shows, clearly, in your career. So what is special about this one? You know, what we should buy tickets and go and see it, but what are you guys enjoying the most about it? Charlotte? Oh, I just think it's just... Uh, it's, it's an amazing show because of the iconic songs. The dancing, I think, is what I love probably the most. Mm. Um, and the young... We've got a really amazing ensemble who just do these wicked dance numbers that just make you want to stand up on your feet oh. and have fun. It's really... That's, that's what I think I love the most. They make me want to lie down. They're so, <laughs> yeah. they're so active. Yeah. Good grief. They are. What's, it, what's it like when everyone's singing the songs with you? Is that great? It's oh, crazy because not yeah. only is there us, uh, and there's a massive ensemble, but there's also a big team of BV singers. So when we all get together in the same room, it's like this huge vocal mm. orchestra yeah. singing because ABBA was always about these amazing arrangements, very intricate. I mean, it was always the two girls at mm -hmm. the front, but there's always this huge sound behind it. So it's like, ah! sometimes you forget to sing because it's just so overwhelmingly awesome you know it's it's pretty cool and well, I want to hear you singing in the audience on opening night I expect I to hear you I'm coming on opening night too <laughs> bring, bring your cooking friend hey and just Emma quickly you have performed for royalty I know you know you'll be performing for us next uh, on opening night so. <laughs> So, you know, kind of close, but you've actually done royalty. Yeah, you well, have done royalty. I haven't done it, okay. but I did perform for royalty. <laughs> yes, back in my 20s, we were, um, I was part of a Broadway-type review group, and we were, we were invited to sing for Prince Edward. And, wow. But we didn't know who we were singing for. We, we got booked a year out, and we were not told until two weeks before who we were singing for. We just said, you want to perform that day. And then we all found out, and we were like, <gasps> it was awesome. Yeah, and oh. he was lovely. He knew he knew all the songs, and he was really interested in us. And oh, yeah, that was really what cool. A talented cast cannot yes. wait to see Fun. it myself. Mark can't wait to see it either. <laughs> yeah, look at him, so happy. Yeah, I'll bring him. <laughs> now, Mamma Mia starts next Saturday, 24th of March, and runs through until the 14th of April at the Bruce Mason in Auckland. Check out Ticketmaster, their website for details.